just complimenting Ohio State and their staff and uh, the job that they did tonight. I they played hard and, and they played well. And uh, proud of our kids' effort. All our kids were physical and played hard and started to finish. Didn't obviously execute to our, our standard all the time. And it cost us in those critical situations. But uh, kids battled and uh, proud of that. But uh, um, obviously not good enough. So we'll get better. Questions? Coach, you guys seem to open the offense up tonight. It's, it's really beneficial. You guys were able to find some holes and do some things you haven't been able to do this season. What can you use that for going forward? Um, we're growing, you know. And it's a process, you know. And it's every team's a new team. We've had some key players out on offense, and uh, and the other guys stepping up. Really proud of that. Um, proud of our offensive staff doing a great job of game planning and coming up with a good plan to help us grow. That's what that's the whole plan is to be able to continue each week to get better and better. And uh, um, obviously, this is a very very talented defense we played against, but. Uh, um, thought that we were able to take advantage of some things, and, and that's going to help us in the future and uh, grow into confidence to be able to get more guys involved. We have a lot of different guys that can make plays on this team, and uh, um, we just got to keep building and growing. Our offensive line um, did some good things, and they were they were stressed and tested, and uh, they responded. So, but it's just uh, it's about once again critical situations execution, and uh, we we left some plays out there. We had a chance to cut it to three. Thought we dropped the pass, it would, should, should have been a, maybe a three point game or. And in that same drive, we could have got a field goal to cut to six, you know, in the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, there's no moral victories that, that's in the past. But uh, um, obviously, when you play a team of this caliber on the road, um, you got to take advantage of those opportunities. So we're right there, and uh, we're not going to sit here and hang our heads and feel sorry for ourselves. We're going to keep fighting because that's what this program does. Tom, you alluded to it, but you get to within nine, and you have two, those two possessions mm -hmm. at the end of the third quarter. Yeah. And come away with nothing. I know that was just that I and I talked to our guys and even the locker room. Said, you know, it's always a it's always a window in every game where you've got to put all your you know energy right in there to 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 make that you know game changing play to, to make a difference in the game and that was our window of opportunity and uh, you know we just we just couldn't take advantage of it you know and I, you know you got to give credit to them too you know that's part of the reason why you know things don't happen a certain ways because the guys you're going against but but uh, that's no shame in our guys and what they were trying to do. You know, and uh, I just feel like that they were, you know, once again, you know, it's just a matter of being able to, you know, continue to um, be put in those positions. And we're finding ourselves in those spots, and we had to fight like crazy to get there. And then once you get there, you got to fight like crazy to make that one or two plays that, that uh, put you in position to be able to, to win a game like this. So, but uh, um, we just keep learning and growing. I think this football team is improving and uh, um, not, not pleased with how it turned out for sure. But uh, I also have a certain perspective on things and I choose to think Coach, a certain way. Coach, uh, Randy looked really good today. He's a tough, hard-nosed kid. I believe in him. And uh, he's just got, you know, he's got confidence, he's got poise, he's got grit, and he's become <coughs> a better passer. You know, he's really accurate in his throwing. And uh, he puts the ball where um, our guys can catch it. It's a very catchable ball. And we've got receivers that go get the football. And so uh, really proud of him. He's a warrior out there. He took some hits, but uh, he's, uh, you know, he's my kind of guy. Coach, you all recorded uh, over 300 yards of offense in the first half and uh, less than uh, 100 in the second half. What did it, how did Ohio State change up to sort of affect your offense? Yeah, they made some adjustments. You know, they probably made a little bit less man in some situations, you know, to be able to take advantage. But I tell you what, I know last year, you know, we kind of had a good first half and didn't, didn't do much at all in the second half. So I thought we still did some great things in the second half, not as much as the first, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what the game is about, is adjustments and, and uh, changing the way you play certain concepts or however you're, you know, devising your scheme. So they made some of those adjustments. But, uh, you know, a lot of times, too, it's just a matter of, Making key plays, you know, we had some drops that we we got to make. You you got to make in this in this game. You got to. We had some great catches, which was the reason why we had some of those plays in the first half. We got to make those plays in the second, you know, and that's just continue. You know, I mean, I just we got to get a couple guys back. You know, that really they, they can really make a big difference in our pass game. And but they did a great job. So um, we're just we're just growing. How do you assess defensively, um, you know, giving up all those points, but at the same time getting three big takeaways? Like yeah, I mean, I'm not, not pleased, you know. I mean, you don't want to give up those points, you know. And, but a lot of the times it was, you know, holding them, holding them, holding them, and giving up the play, you know, just not matching up. I, I'm not going to, you know, I'll just call it what it is. They, they want some one-on-ones, you know. We had some of our best players matched up against their best players, and they won those, you know. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, our goal going in is we're going to fight these guys. We're going to look them in the eye. We're going to fight for 60 minutes. We're not going to back down. So we just ran our stuff. And 
we won some of those at times, but we lost some of those at times too. And that's just part of it. And uh, so our best players match up against their best players, and and you know we got to come up with those, and we didn't. And so that's you know that's where you just shake a guy's hand and say nice job. You know I'm not gonna sit here and apologize for that. So uh, we we mix things up. <clears throat> we ran some pressures. We ran some zones. You know we, we did some good things there, but you know they make plays too. And uh, so it's just. Sometimes those are tough, but I uh, we're still you know I look out there I just you know, amazed how many young guys we got on defense, and uh, they're just they're growing and learning, and uh, that's just part of it, you know. But uh, that's we knew we were going to be young this year, and we're not backing down from anybody, and and uh, you know I feel like that uh, you know this team has a chance to just keep growing and building together, and I think we'll we'll be uh, happy with the result if we just stay the course. Coach, you mentioned getting some players back would be very important because you did a lot of great things on offense tonight without those guys. Moving forward next week, uh, any chance of those guys coming back? In your I sure hope so, but they just got to keep working. I never dreamed they'd be out this long, but uh, that's just part of it. They're trying. Our medical staff's doing an awesome job. It's just uh, two tough injuries that were a lot longer than we thought. And uh, um, but they're working. They're working right now. They worked this morning. They're working tomorrow, and they'll just keep working on Monday. And and uh, that is definitely the hope. But we don't. I can't sit here and tell you either way. Had some guys go out today too. Any preliminary reports on any of them? No, I don't have any information on any of these guys yet. Coach, the two-point conversion, uh, you went to cut it to seven. Why did you go for it? What was the rationale? Well, just to me, you wanted to be able to get within, you know, seven points. You know, because you either got to do it eventually. You know, that 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 way you now know what you have to do. You know, so to kick the field goal, just, that's my rationale. That way you know. And once again, I go back to, you know, we have we study this, and, and that's the. Uh, the, uh, the mathematical odds was for us to, to go for it there, go for two at that point in time. That way you, you know exactly what you have to get next. You know, so that's the rationale. And I stand by that decision. The play Koi Kronk made to save the touchdown there. Does that speak to just how? No, well, he's a warrior. I mean, that kid's tougher than nails. I mean, he just, I love that kid. He's like Peyton Ramsey. He's a tough sucker. You talked during the week about what she needed to do against Haskins. Just talk about. Yeah, and when we got pressure on him and made him feel uncomfortable, we got some, you know, what we wanted. And when we didn't, he's deadly. He's pretty good, you know. And when you got that line around him, then it's hard to get to him. You know, there's some huge men on that offensive line. And uh, so it makes it hard. If you, if you can't affect his comfort level in the, in, the, in the pocket, he's very dangerous, you know. And so sometimes we did and sometimes we didn't. So that's an area that makes it challenging. Do Pigs and one more. You haven't had them. Well, the coverages this year, but then you had one. We did, and I tell you what, I just was, you wanted to call timeout right when you saw it happening, because I knew it was a touchdown. And uh, just, you know, they they caught us, we made a mistake, you know, and, and we didn't get the check we are supposed to check to. And, and uh, like I said, against teams like this, you make a mistake like that, and they make you pay. So, hats off to them, and we just gotta keep working. You can't make those mistakes. Coach, in those last two minutes, I'm sorry. In the last two minutes, uh, you look pretty agitated on the sideline. Is, uh, can you tell us what that was? Regarding? The last two minutes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My whole thing was is, is we weren't going back down to anybody. I wasn't going back to feeling sorry for themselves. We're going to finish. We're going to look them in the eye. We're going to have everybody shaking their hands and, and, and uh, make sure we know that we respect them. But we're coming back. We ain't going nowhere. This program is working hard to be special. That ain't going to change. Elio.